Hi Miseki here and yes I have two boxes with me to show you Redmi Note 8 and the Note 8 Pro and yeah let's unbox this now in the box you should obviously see the phones <laughs> but yeah one is slightly bigger than the other but I will be back to these guys later now digging further into the box you should see a transparent rubber case and yeah the usual boring manuals as well as a power adapter and a USB Type-C cable guys unfortunately there are no earphones on this guy neither is there any screen protector now let's move back to this you know gorgeous devices and in as much as you know the Note 8 Pro is an all-round you know powerful device I personally think that the Note 8 is fine now they both use glass bags on both the front and the back of the device however one thing I noticed is that the Note 8 is a lot more flatter at the back than the Note 8 Pro now on, on one hand this is actually cool because it, it gives you a good grip while holding the device but on the other hand it wobbles a lot when you place it on the table now guys these two devices are slightly heavy but the note 8 pro is way more heavier than the note 8 and yeah when it comes to fingerprint stains one of these two attracts way more than normal can you guess which one it is <laughs> it's actually the note 8 and yeah it's funny how this one doesn't even attract a lot of fingerprint stains but yeah moving on i did notice that the protruding back of the note 8 pro can sometimes be easy to scratch so you need to be careful with that guys now as expected there are a lot of differences with these two devices for example the note 8 has a dedicated sd card slot unlike the hybrid sim card slot that we get on the pro version also notice that the note 8 has a lot more chain than the note 8 pro but guys the biggest difference of all is with the specs and one obvious you know spec difference is with the camera and here are the specs guys however when it comes to actual camera quality there are a lot of differences with these two cameras so let's move to the front camera and, and straight off the bat <laughs> you can easily tell that the note 8 pro is a lot better than the note 8 i'm not saying that the note 8 isn't good right but yeah, I love that the Note 8 Pro is slightly saturated, um, it's way, way more detailed, it's way more vibrant. And yeah, the Note 8 is also cool, but I did notice like a blue tone to it, as opposed to the warm look that we get on the Note 8. Now switching to the back camera, and I did like camera comparisons with both the ultra wide angle and the telephoto lens on this guy. I also tried to compare with the Camera 12 Pro. Now still on the camera and Xiaomi has included an ability for you to shoot in the full resolution that is the 48 MP on the Note 8 and 64 MP on the Note 8 Pro. Now you also get the ability to do slow-mo videos and you can do 240 frames per second on the Note 8 and 960 frames per second on the Note 8 Pro. And guys did I mention that these two devices come with image stabilization? You need to give it to Xiaomi because I mean they've been able to wrap all of this in an affordable device moving on and it took me about 21 seconds and 16 seconds to power on both devices placing them in this position on my leaderboard as for the os you're getting android pi obviously along with miui 10 and one thing i noticed is that there weren't a lot of bloatwares i only noticed about um, four bloatware applications that can be uninstalled guys now, as usual on you know, MIUI, you get like, a lot of customization options on both devices. For example, you can actually hide the notch, you can adjust the color temperature, you can change the button orientation, and you can even enable dark mode right in the settings. Now, one major difference between this two when it comes to you know, UI or applications is something called game mode so we don't have game mode on the note 8 but we do have that on the note 8 pro now moving on to the displays and we're working with a full hd plus display on both devices they don't have amoled screen unfortunately but when it comes to you know color reproduction and color accuracy right i noticed that the note 8 um has like a slightly darker tune to it so i tried to compare with the camon 12 pro which comes with amoled screen and the note 8 pro slightly matches the color that we get on um, the camera 12 pro but overall the color reproduction on these two guys are still pretty accurate now next thing i want to talk about is the performance and guys <laughs> this guy right here although comes with lower specs actually performs better than most of the mid-range devices that i've used in recent times now here's what i mean i tried to play PUBG on this guy and although it was set to low but the actual gameplay felt like it was set to medium 
that's how good the performance was now to further explain this here's the difference between the graphics on the camera 12 pro and of course the note 8 now moving to the note 8 pro and guys hey this guy is a performance beast like he was able to undo all the um applications that i put into it gameplay was super smooth and even the graphics on this guy feels like i'm using a 200 000 era device that's how good it is and guys you can also check out the benchmark scores but on the flip side of things these two devices does get warm and it does get noticeably warm while using it extensively but away from that and as expected the fingerprint and face unlock on the note 8 pro is slightly faster than the note 8 and yeah these two devices support 4g including close 4g now guys alongside you know the bigger screen on the pro you also have a bigger battery and stuck side by side against the note 8 i was barely getting a day of you know heavy use out of this thing as a matter of fact while i was playing PUBG, my battery drained from 90 percent um to about 20 percent in um you know three to four hours of gameplay but if you're using it moderately you should get through the day with this guys now on the flip side <laughs> these guys use usb type c ports and they also support fast charge so i was able to charge the two devices in no time here's a breakdown of the charge time now the last thing i want to talk about is the audio and i want to do like a live video test <sighs> And then the note April. so i don't know if you can tell but there's um a slight difference it's not so much i think the volume of these two devices are quite the same but um there's a slight difference with the note 8 pro i noticed that there's like a bit of you know treble thing going on as opposed to what we get on the note 8 but guys, that's it with my first impression of these two devices. I'm thinking of doing a full camera test plus other comparisons. So let me know what you think about it and what you want to see in the next video. <laughs> and if you want to get, you know, these two devices, you can in Computer Village. I'll place a link where you can do that down below. And yeah, take care guys. <laughs>